Now we get to our solo section at bar 65. We're going to set up a rhythmic figure, repeating rhythmic figure. That's going to be the basis. We're going to play this on every, the downbeat of, of every other bar, and then we're going to have room for fills. We're going to do this for eight bars in the key of E minor, and then we're going to do it for eight bars in the key of G7. Now, uh, you can either learn the uh, licks that I've transcribed and played here, but certainly at, at a certain point when you're playing these, feel free to take this spot to come up with your own licks. But let me talk about the concepts and what I'm using for the solo part. Uh, basically, in the E minor, I'm just using a whole bunch of different permutations of the E minor pentatonic scale of hammer-ons. The first one I'm doing, I'm doing a triplet of the seventh up to the octave. And all these are sort of based on just the hammer-on down of the E minor pentatonic, which is sort of the bread and butter of uh, funk bass playing. Uh, so in the second one, I do the series of the triplets. And then we're always putting that rhythmic figure in. And I do the uh, down and B melodic. And then we switch to G7. So we're still playing with fifths. The first look I do is sort of uh, going around the set, the third, which is a nice lick to use in any key, sort of like a sus to a resolution. I'm playing the G and then playing a B flat and resolving it to the natural third. And then again, doing the triplet up to the seventh. The second lick I play, I'm using our bends to outline a G chord. And the all different permutations, ending with the last lick, we're going back to like the end of the intro. That uh, thematically sort of takes us back to the beginning and brings us back to the core, the verse again, to start ending the song.